welcome back so um this is the first lesson of 2023 uh glad to have you guys around uh we want to work with uh, quite a number of things so we'll do a, a mini session on how some of these um, projects work so as you work with your github I expect you to get uh, this version of uh, GitHub, which is a GitHub desktop, whereby you can create a, a repository. For example, we've got the first repository which we created, which is um, our food page, whereby I would want to actually make our content um, relevant or regular for us to be able to work with. So I can select open with VS code so that um, we can be able to work with our VS code for creating our project. So hopefully if time allows, we can be able to um, also add two other uh, repositories that are also then be able to work with um, I've also set this project to private, but um, you can follow the video and see some of the things that um, we work with for um, our particular project. So as it stands, I've actually created um, my repository, which is supposed to be for food. And this, I'd want this repository to have a few things. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to be able to work with um, HTML. That's uh, mainly what this repository is about. So we create our text file. We save it as index.html. Uh, we can save that as all files. And that way we've got our index.html. From there, we also want to um, create a CSS file. So our CSS file, we save it as, let's create a folder there. We put it as CSS. We get into that folder. We call this page. And uh, we can change this section and select CSS so that it becomes our CSS file. So we're actually starting from scratch, but um, I'm going to, uh, since we are working with our video, I'm just going to look for some bare basics so that we can have um, our, our page running faster. So HTML basic. Code. And you can also do this um, whilst you work. So um, let's just see if we can get that. Uh, we're getting that from W Schools. Yeah, so we can just work with our basic code. This is not what I was looking for. I need something a bit more. A bit more detailed because there's some stuff that I wanted. Uh, let's just see if we can get something better. Because we just want basic code that we can work with. Sample, I think sample gives us better. Yeah, this is too basic. I need, let's see here. Okay, we'll just take um, the simple and sample code. Uh, 
and we can edit it as we proceed because there's some stuff that I wanted to add but this is not it so I'm um, given this we want to remove all the p tags we also want to remove the title um, we would want to add a link that it links to um, our CSS um, this might be tedious let me pause the video for now and I'll continue after I've done a little bit of code so I'm back um, I've just done a little bit of code um, we will not finish how this um, website runs or how it works. I've just added uh, a little bit of code. Um, took me a little over 10 minutes to do this, but um, at least we've got um, our code running. I'll just add uh, something to our CSS so that um, we've got something that we can work with. We also need a font size. Uh, we make it 24 pixels. We also want to get rid of the margin and we put it at zero. We want a padding. We want a padding of 10 pixels. Um, we would also want to add one of these elements, which is the VA menu. Let's just copy that. Put it there. It's also supposed to be an ID. So let's just put something for our VA menu. We put a width. We want it to be 300 pixels. We want the padding of 5 pixels, we want a margin, um, let's just put a 1 pixel, we want it to be dotted, um, and we want the color to be Maybe let's just end there. We click on, we click and we save. We can go and run. We start debugging. We select. Okay, perfect. I don't know what had happened first time around. At least now we. to stop it and try and run it okay it's not a problem um, we can still run it in a different manner let's just go to our food page let's open with Google Chrome there we go so at least we've got our page looking like that so so far we've just done some of the basic um, elements of our page we'll still be able to add a bit more and as it stands it shows us that um, everything that we've put is in order but it's still just a basic page i will add more on it and then see what i can do and uh, do uh, what what uh, what is possible so uh, as we can see we have updated um, our page uh, let's maybe just do one tweak to our CSS um, let's try that and 
none and then let's also put a color and we'll put our color to be hash 4 j 4 j 0 0 uh, that's not a valid color okay let's put maybe put that okay we click on save uh, let's go to our page okay so at least it worked we could not see a change really because the color is almost exactly the same um, let's maybe add this one list v copy that we come there and we paste and then we put text decoration as none and uh yeah i think that'll be fine we click on save we refresh So at least it shows us what we want. Um, and this is more or less an idea of how we can be able to work with our web design uh, and put whatever it is that we want to put within our food page. So on our food page, if we come to the folder that, um, that we've actually created as food page, we've got our CSS and our HTML. This is what we got uh, locally. And if we come to our GitHub, we can then uh, refresh and see that there's nothing that uh, exists. But it can tell it, it shows us that um, with the initial uh, commit, this is what we've got. This is what we've put. So let's come back to our um, GitHub desktop. We can then see that there's a few changes that we've done, or um, some of the things that we failed to um, attribute whilst we were working with our document. So I can actually remove this because I don't need this. This is an error from, from our VS code. So I can say web setup. That's the first thing. The initial upload of the repository like that I can commit to main and then the moment I commit to main it means my updates are supposed to um, go to my repository I go to push to origin and then the moment I'm done pushing to my origin, I can come back to my uh, repository. I refresh. I then get uh, the, the two new updates that I've got. So it becomes easier in that each time that I'm working on a specific repository, I can be able to add as much as I want to add. So these are some of the insights that you guys are supposed to be working with. And you can also then add a readme whereby you can tell us about this. Okay. So we're then saying this is a simple website that talks, that illustrates All things food related and will be used as part of the sample content that is on 
this page. Okay. Um, update one. We commit. And then we can actually be able to talk more about what this page is about and some of the things that we will be working with. At the same time, it actually shows us whatever changes we might be doing on our page or about our page, and we can be able to work with those as we proceed. So in the meantime, um, we've got an idea of how this works. Let's do uh, the next bit on um, another repository. We can actually create a new repository and do uh, a totally different language. So for example, um, we've got our Visual Studio. We can open Visual Studio and have our Visual Studio running where we can also create a we can also create a so um the next stage we want to create a project in uh, visual studio and also use it um, in the same manner as we have done we had done it in um, uh, a previous video but I just want to combine all of them into one video. So we go to file, we create a repository. Um, and um, we need to actually put the name there. But this might um, confuse us a bit. But let's, let's just go on with it and name it. So we want it to be a contact. Manager, um, click on create. So the moment we do this, we now need to have um, like uh, some. We now need to have some content within this particular repository and what this then means now is if we we want to work with this we then need to at least understand how our repository works and some of the things that we need to have as part of our um, visual studio learning however the, the other challenge that we've got now is if we create it as a repository, we then need to know how to actually add information to our contacts manager. So if we come to, um, let's just see this, um, let's use our Bamboo source repos contact manager. So we might need to actually go to where the repos are, uh, which is source, repos, and then we have contact manager. What this then means, we need to create a contact manager in our Visual Studio. So we do a new project. Uh, we then name it contact. manager and then with the contact manager we then put information that we want within um, our contact manager so maybe let's just change that and we say contacts uh, we save everything So this then means this is what we've got in our contact manager. 
and in our repo we also need to put um, so I pause the video uh, simply because um, doing it through Visual Studio was proving a bit tedious and uh, there's uh, steps that you might need to follow so because I didn't have time to get that done let me do it the way we did it previously so this is the one that is on our desktops where it's a contact manager we can simply come here and uh, do the following we create a new repository and uh, we call it contact manager uh, for contacts. I think that's the easiest. Um, we create our repository and then we publish it. After publishing it, we can then add our content as we proceed. So our content would be as follows. We want to upload some stuff, which is what we've got in our contact manager. So maybe let's just open this. We copy everything that's there. We want to select everything that's there. We want to copy it. We want to go to our contact managers in GitHub, which is this one. We then want to paste. And then the moment we've pasted, we can see all the changes that we've got there. And then we say, new content and then we add this we then commit this to our main uh, and then we push to the origin so this way we can then be able to actually work with our repository and how we want to um, use each element so let's just come back to our document or our project and we see what our contact manager contains. okay so since this is our contact manager and we're working with it um, locally we then need to um design our contact manager however best we see fit so i'm going to use a control that we find here uh, that is called a tab control so with this control we want to add some of the following so The first tab is create, uh, the next tab we want it to be edit. Properties. This one we want it to be edit like that um, and then we want to put um, some of the information that we hope to see in this particular 
um, project. So let's say we've got a text box for three of them, or rather they became four. Uh, we put them sequentially like this. Okay, we also need labels. Where each label goes on each text box. And then we name them accordingly. So the first one would be first name. The next one would be last name. Uh, the next one would be title. And then the next one would be the next one would be phone number. So um, just I just added this. It's not a fully functional uh, program, but I just wanted to add and have new changes done to our existing content. So if we run this, we should be able to get um, a running project. But on this project, we would want to have some updates. So the problem now, if we can't actually um, use the same project, we then need to um, be copying most of our stuff. So this is the project that we're actually working with, which is um, under GitHub, which is Contact Manager. And um, this, the other project that we've got is the one that is in this folder. Okay, so I've got these two separate folders. So what this then means, this is what we find in our repository, which is this one. The other one, so this is in our repository, this is in our computer, or this is on our computer. So if we then want to keep updating uh, new changes, we then need to copy between the two uh, elements, but you then need to actually learn how to actually work with the two platforms and get whatever it is that you can get from the two uh, different ways of uploading to your GitHub.